All right, welcome. This is the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here I'm covering 1.L, uh, which is linearizing a graph. Here's the scenario. Angelica, Blake, and Carlos have been given a stopwatch, several large spheres, and a meter stick, and have been asked to determine the acceleration due to gravity. They decide that they need to, uh, need to collect drop height and the time um, to fall for the ball for several different heights to create a position right here this is a position first time graph the average of the collection data are shown below here's the height and here is the time all right so what they're gonna do is just plot them right zero zero okay the next one uh, 0 0.50 and 0 0.32 okay um, because again time is on the x-axis and the height is the drop height the y is the drop height and the next one is 0 0.40 comma 0 0.75 next one 0 0.46 comma 1 and the next one 0.5 comma 1.25 okay uh, here you should um, realize it looks like something or the shape of it okay it should let me try to do this as best as I can start from 0 Can I? Yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, goes like that. Okay. If we continue it, right? If there's more data points, if there's no more data points, you basically stop it right here. Okay. All right. Okay. But I, I'm just drawing the arrow. Okay, to indicate a um, the projected growth. Okay. All right. So graph it. We're going to fill in this value afterwards, okay? Now, when you graph the drop height of a function of the time on the axis below based on your graph and the table at the right, identify the correct relationship between the drop height and the time on the ground, okay? Um, so, so, what physical quality, what is blank, to the blank of the what. So you wouldn't have to look like this is refer to the right here, the this is the the output. What is the output in this case? What is the output? What did we figure out as a result? We got the what? We got the this. We had the displacement, okay? The height displacement, okay? That is what proportionally to the square root uh, to what here. So here, these were all time, right? These were all time, right? Okay. And I just wanted to bring this into reference for you, okay? This is what directly proportion looks like, okay? Where it looks like y equals to kx. Sometimes you see it as y equals mx, okay? But if you see something like um, y equals to 1 over x, okay, where the slope is on the, uh, where the x is on the bottom, it looks like this, okay? So the first one's called directly proportion, and the second one is called inversely proportion, okay? They're inverses of each other, basically. Right. So the what here it was the displacement is the um, if we look like the graph, okay, it is proportional. It's this because you see how it was growing exactly like this. So it is proportional to the what squared and of the time, okay. So your time of the the input was time. If you look at your equation on your equation sheet, it should look something like this, right? So now knowing this, okay, height and y are both your outputs. Your input is what right here? Your input was time squared, okay? 
So from here, remember, it was time squared. Okay, that you're going to do here. So what you're going to do is that here, you're going to do time squared. So all you're going to do is plug in those values. So let me show you for the first one. Zero squared is just zero. Okay, and I have I have a calculator on the screen to show you, okay? And the next one was, let's say, 0 0.32, 0 0.32, and we're going to square that. Oh, 0 0.32 squared. Squared, better? What, the feature is not available in this current calculator. All right, so let me grab the scientific one. Hold on. I hit the wrong one. Um, 0 0.32 squared. Yes, that's better. Okay, looks like something like this. Okay, so that's how you could fill that one in. The next one, 0 0.40 squared. That's the next one, 0 0.46. All I'm doing is I'm timing, I'm scoring the time. All right. Good. And what's the next one? 0 0.50 squared all right good so that's what you're doing in your calculator that's okay that's where these values are going to come from all right so it was zero the next one was it was 0 0.10 okay the next one was 0 0.16 the next one was like 0 0.2116 I'm just gonna round it to 0 0.21 the next one was 0 0.25 all right because you're going to see why we do it like this okay so originally if we graph this okay it looks like this right remember whoop I did really bad but it curves okay all right now, if we want to linearize it, what can we essentially do? Okay, All right? Because here we know that if we graph it like this, this looks like a parabola. But how do we force it into a line? We have to change the x axis and we have to change the y axis. Okay? Can we change the drop height? No, it's still drop height. So this should be drop height but what can we change our input to be it's it's what time squared so this is going to be time squared okay all right you could do time squared versus drop height or you could do the opposite of it time and you could do the square root of the drop height okay all right and again you have to make sure you're using the appropriate scale so let me just bring back the chart from last time. Um, it was, I think the input, right, was time squared, and our output was your drop height. Our input was zero, this was zero, 0 0.10, and the height was 0 0.50. Time squared for 0 0.16 was height was that 1.0 oh sorry this was 0 0.21 and this was 1.0 uh, 0 0.25 and this was 1.25 again this was in the um, if you look above your worksheet it's the first part okay I just brought it back down here so if you want to think about it let's start from zero and we know that this is time squared right What's our largest value? Our largest value here is 0 0.25. So you're probably going to what? Want to finish it at what? Okay, 0 0.25. So you just got to learn how to break it up. Uh, so maybe go by 0 0.5, 0 0.10, 0 0.15, 0 0.20. Perfect, okay? Because again, this is your low value. This is your high value. All right, same thing here. Our lowest value is zero. Our highest value up here should be one, two, five. And see how you want to break it up. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
So yeah, that works. So this can be like 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and this is 1.00. Okay, plot your points. Here's 0, 0, 0, 10, 50, um, 0, 16, 75. Right? Oh, wow, it even looks straight. 0 0.21, 1, and the next one, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Yeah, yeah, it looks fairly straight. Uh, I'm going to screw this up. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, looks fairly good. All right, times squared, and this was your drop height. Okay. So again, on the AP test, make sure you scale it properly and you label your axes, okay? That's how it looks like in original. Here now, you're going to use your line of best fit. So again, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to grab two points, okay? I'm going to grab two points. Again, um, to here to calculate the acceleration, okay? Please understand. Um, use the line best fit to determine the acceleration to the gravity. Be careful and calculate the slope. So basically, you're going to calculate the slope of the line best fit that you plot due to the acceleration, okay? So I grabbed two points. These were these two points, okay? These were given, this, these points were from the graph, okay? You could pick any two points that you want. Here's the slope formula. Here you go. You plug it in. Straightforward, all right? That's it, okay? Um, and... We know that this was one half of gravity. So you to solve for gravity, you will have to multiply two to both sides. So that's how you get 10. Okay. So this um, is just telling you that um, just how to get gravity in a, because here we know we sort of rounded. Um, so the point of this is also understanding that not all relationships are linear. And we saw from our example um, above that there are four types. OK, um, it is easier to look at a graph if you make it linear. So you might have to go to you might have to go from a quadratic to a linear using this model. But how? By. OK, either squaring or square rooting one of the terms. And how do you do that? You have to understand their mathematical relationship here. OK, um, right. And there's four types. OK, so but there you go. Those are all your solutions um, for 1.L.